I think the really cool culture of IMSA or going to the, like NASCAR, I think they do this as well, is the RV slash camping experience. Yes. I think the Daytona yeah. 24, the first thing that sells out is the camping grounds yes. um, besides the seating. And I think that's cool. And I think there might be some camping around Spa for Formula One, but I don't think I've heard about it or really seen it. Or they haven't told that side of the story yet because they're trying to, we're trying to be cool and snooty. <laughs> um, I got such beef with that perception because we're all just hanging in a garage with a bunch of oil yes. and car and tire yeah. five, like stuff everywhere. Like we're just, who do you think you are? <laughs> um, it's uh, four wheels and an engine. But yes. I love the camping aspect because I took... And then they told me before when you parked, you can, they have these really cool, essentially long golf carts. So you can mm. just, you don't have to walk the whole entire day, yeah. which I appreciate. And you just go through the camping grounds and people are there. They've set up spots with either friends. So it's like one big compound, essentially. And they have fires going. They have barbecues going. People are, hey, do you mind if I borrow this? They're like, yeah, sure. Come on over. Right, you're hungry. We have extra food. Like, come hang out with us or music. And people bring their own stands or they um, sit on their own, like, elevation to watch over the track, which I think is so phenomenal. Mm. Um OSHA, do not arrive there. You're not welcome. <laughs> but I, I so love true. that kind of feel. It's like a huge like community. We're all hanging out for this weekend. This is what we're doing. This is our world. Everything yes, else is yeah. blocked off. This is all that matters right now in our little globe section sliver of the world. Yeah, that's that's a, the first thing I noticed. Uh, this was our second year in the Rolex. Just the energy that you feel when you come through that tunnel and you see, you smell the campfires, you smell food. You, you just hear golf carts and things moving about. There's just such a motion. Like, I just want to stand back and watch everything happen. There's, It's not like that in anything else. I mean, I've been inside the pits for NASCAR, and yet it's hectic and energetic. But there's just there's something about an IMSA event. Um, I've heard, actually this year at Daytona, I heard some people talking next to me. And some guy said something about, I don't know if he was talking about NASCAR, IndyCar, whatever. He said he went to a race like that at one of the regular like cookie cutter tracks and got a pit pass and he said it's just i'm spoiled imza has spoiled me um and i know eric this was your first day rolex 24 with us too and you i think you caught a little whiff of, oh, I, of that interview. i couldn't i couldn't believe the amount of of uh thought that people put into their camp spaces and their setups at IMSA. I mean, like you said, the second we came out of that tunnel, I was blown away and I was I was instantly like that I could do that. I, like I'd have my friends down, I'd have the RV. If I could get other guys with RVs, we'd create a little compound like you said, Ash, like we you know, we'd have a setup like that is that is right up my alley um where you you just you set up a home base and you enjoy your time with your friends and other people that enjoy motorsport. And I, I think, f especially for me and, and with the whole Intuit the Apex thing, um, and then going to the 24, I couldn't believe the camaraderie that you get to have. Like, you know, normally in your everyday life, there aren't a ton of people that you know that love motorsport, that are, you know, obsessed with motorsport that want to go see races and experience it and at four o'clock in the morning you know those type yeah. of things you don't you don't get that um so seeing that excitement from tons of people uh that that was just just remarkable for my first experience i loved it i mean i know some people might have in their head they might inappropriately be like wow what about like what a bunch of like low lives camping <laughs> like at like what yeah. I don't think you understand. These RVs are like six yeah, so you, grand, first yeah, of all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. When, you see, when you see when you see an eight hundred thousand dollar RV that's parked there, I mean, I was looking up some of the some of the brands and some of the the models of them. I mean, eight hundred thousand, a million dollar <laughs> RV. Yep. Hey, you look them up online. They've got tile floor on the inside. They've it's just They're crazy, nice. but. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like it... DC starter apartment. Like, <laughs> you know? And then people had like their Ferraris and their Porsches that they came yeah. with to yes, either yeah. attach to the RVs. Like, these, this is serious. Like this yeah. is not like, oh, we're camping in a tent for five dollars. These, these, I mean, you could if you wanted to, but we, oh, we, we did at Watkins Glen. Yeah, we did do that at Watkins Glen last year. It was great until uh, Sunday night when we thought we were going to be blown over. Oh no! <laughs> but we are doing. I mean. Uh, you nail it with the camping. I know uh, longtime listeners of this show know that, that we have, I mean, we've waxed poetic, as I say, about camping at, at, at IMSA races and road courses. So 
Uh, we we did Bradley and I did it at Watkins Glen last year. We're gonna do it again. We've got I think four between all of the into the apex folks. We've got four oh, wow. camping sites uh, booked uh, for Watkins Glen this year, and I we're think gonna they're go all back. connected too. Yes, they're all side. So we're gonna have, basically have a compound campground. We're circling the wagons. We're folks. circling the wagons at Watkins Glen. I'm uh, bringing mobility. We're grow every year and yes. take over. Eventually, we will own an entire corner at Watkins Glen of plots. But, I mean, it was amazing because we, I mean, we went downtown briefly, uh, checked out the lake, uh, went to one of the, a couple of the shops. Otherwise, we did not leave walk, the inside of Watkins Glen for several, a few days. And it was outstanding. This, this is Into the Apex Motorsport Podcast, Podcast Network. Network.